It's been weeks, but we finally have a rumor. A rumor, a trade rumor, somebody's name entering the discussions over here. And oddly enough, it's actually the fourth day in a row we've made a Boston Bruins related video. So hey, Bruins fans, if you're interested in this kind of content, I'm a Vancouver guy, but you know, I kind of talk about your team sometimes. We have ourselves an actual trade rumor. Here's a source on Boston Hockey Now from the Boston Bruins. It's about Urho Vakaninen, and the source says they're trying to move him. So, this quick little piece goes over the overall Boston Bruins situation. They're in a tough spot. They're going to have to give up something to get something. People are saying, okay, they need to make a splash, and a splash other than re-signing Jake DeBrusque and or Zdeno Chara. But there is a paywall behind the article, so we're not going to read off of that. But in a nutshell, the Bruins have a hole on the left side of their defensive core. And we kind of know that. Tori Krug is out, Chara is out, we spoke about this before. But Vakaninen is the piece in this discussion that is apparently being considered in a trade-like scenario that would probably help them out in that department. That's just a speculation part of it, but the rumor does say that he is indeed on the block and they are indeed trying to move him. So, this comes as a surprise to me, because Urho Vakaninen was a guy who I always thought was pretty okay. Like, he was a pretty solid NHL prospect to get. If you're taking a look at the profile, he's 21 years old, born on January 1st of 1999. He's a very, very nice birthday, I will say that. A New Year's baby, 6 foot 185 pounds, a left-handed D-man, on the payroll until 2021-2022. He was drafted in 2017 in the first round by the Boston Bruins, 18th overall. Back when he was drafted, he was playing for the JYP Yavaskula in the Finnish Liga, getting 6 points in 41 games played. The fact is, though, just having a guy Guy playing full-time in the Finnish Liga is a good thing, which is why he ended up getting taken in that spot. At the U18s, he was over a point per game as one of the better players for that Team Finland squad, and then he continued his career in the Liga, getting 11 points in the 43-game span he played before making the Providence Bruins the next season. He was a pretty good player over there, half a point a game. He was playing at the World Juniors with the A on his sweater. He won gold with that squad, no big deal. He played two games with the Boston Bruins, but around this time in 2019-2020, where he was about 20-ish years old. People were kind of expecting, okay, he's a first-round caliber prospect who is drafted in the middle of that first round in 2017. He's been progressing. He's been developing. Is this the time where we see Erho Vakaninen full-time in the NHL? Not playing in the NHL and then going back down to Providence, but staying there full-time. And that was not what happened, because he played five games with the Bruins, but spent the majority of the season with the Providence Bruins, getting 14 points in 54 games. So he actually got worse on the score sheet. If we go over to Dauber Prospects and check out what they say for their January 2020 update, this is the whole story of that production in that season. Despite a five-game NHL call-up in November, Vakaninen is still searching for his first NHL point. With the AHL's Providence Bruins, he managed four goals and 11 points in 38 games, but... His production in the minors hinged largely on a six-game stint where he managed eight points. This period of offensive dominance came immediately after he returned to the AHL in late November, indicating that he gained some confidence playing in the NHL. Outside of this stretch, though, Vakanana had managed a disappointing three points through his other 32 games in the AHL that year. While he has shown flashes of his offensive ability, his defensive play will likely be his calling card at the next level. Thank you very much, Chris Mazza, for that right. Up. But of course, just points alone is not the be-all and end-all for NHL prospects, especially defensemen. But the fact is, Vakaninen is 21 years old. He hasn't cracked the league full-time yet. He's in a position where three years out removed from his draft, there is speculation as to whether or not you give up on this kind of guy, you trade him away for what would be, hopefully, a defender to come back and play in your top four immediately today. Because you lost Krug, you lost Chara, you don't have these guys anymore. Urho Vakaninen, if he was forced to play in that role right now, wouldn't be all too great because of the pressure, because he would need to be better than he had been before. You never want to force prospects in this kind of way. So, do you trade Vakaninen with a prospect or a pick or whatever to get an NHL-caliber D-man back? 
In fact, it's actually mentioned a few times on Boston Hockey Now, the website where we're pulling this Vakaninen source from, whether or not an Oliver Ekman Larson thing could be revisited and maybe even rekindled. We spoke about Vancouver, Boston, and Ekman Larson in yesterday's video, so check that out if you hadn't seen it. But we went over why exactly Ekman Larson was in a position where he wanted Boston or Vancouver had he was forced to be traded. He spoke about how he likes Boston because he was there before when he played in the AHL in Portland. Maine, plus the Bruins went after him earlier, and then Vancouver because of his Swedish friends, but who knows if the Arizona Coyotes are able to take on something like a Vakanainen or whatever. We know they're in a rebuild kind of stage. Obviously, that's just me spitting, pulling out random stories that I've seen and trying to connect the dots into what could be, but if there is another trade out there for an NHL caliber defender, the Boston Bruins are probably going to be in a position where they're forced to eat up some salary because you're not really going to get rid of an NHL caliber defender who is cheap if the Boston Bruins are offering up a Vakaninen and a pick or whatever, especially if you're in a position where the guy who you are trading is honestly pretty good. No matter who it is, if an NHL caliber defender is valuable, they'll probably stick around. So it kind of narrows the playing field a little bit. Plus, you have to take a look at the fact that Vakaninen, the prospect, whatever it is that gets sent over in a trade, it's going to be assets for the future. So you're only really going to be trading to a rebuilding team or a team that wants to rebuild like the Arizona Coyotes, for example. So it really does narrow the playing field as to who would be in the market for a guy like Erho Vakaninen if there's any teams at all. So... I personally would not be surprised if nothing gets done, if there's no trade made, unless the Boston Bruins go out there and just full send it. They send Jake DeBrusque, Vakanine, and a pick over for Patrick Laine or something. That's a video we made two days ago. See, I told you, we're speaking about Boston a lot recently on the channel. It's weird, even though I don't like these guys because they eliminated my Canucks in the finals. But, you know, there is indeed some very interesting topics that can arise from these kinds of discussions. So, who knows if it actually gets done? Who knows if the Bruins even go after a left-handed D-man? Maybe the other stuff does come true instead. Because, remember, the Patrick Laine story that we talked about a few days ago was indeed also from Boston Hockey Now. These guys are taking the spotlight when it comes to NHL news and rumors for this dead off-season period where there's nothing going on. So... Even just the smallest little piece of news, little tiny tidbits that wouldn't really mean much otherwise. Yeah, no, we're clinging onto these stories for dear life. Erho Vakadine, the top prospect from the 2017 NHL Challenger Draft, and the guy whom I've honestly been a pretty big fan of, who is indeed on the trading block today. Talk to me in the comments what you think about Vakadine and his overall development. What do you think he could become for the Boston Bruins if he stays long term? I'm kind of referring to the Dauber Prospect scouting report over here because if you go over to the main report, it says this a smart, smooth skating two way D man will have more value for his actual team than for your fantasy hockey club. That's a very good way to put it. He's a sound defensive guy who hasn't had his opportunity to crack the league yet. I think in a perfect world, he maxes out as a top four, top five D-man who plays some very big minutes, who's very capable of playing on the PK, and who's able to get the puck out in his own zone. But... Nothing really much more beyond that. The point production, obviously, we spoke about that earlier, but it has taken a hit. That indeed is not his calling, though, so we'll see how exactly he develops, if it's even with Boston. So talk to me in the comments what you think about Vakadine. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm and I. And bye.